Welcome to the channel and the Green Cities DLC for City Skylines which was released in the beginning of October 2017 if you're watching this in the future. In this series we're going to be looking at the Green Power scenario which is one of three scenarios that was released as part of the DLC. I've already completed City of Gardens and Cleanup Crew. They are quite straightforward scenarios. They look intimidating when you start but they're a very good way to learn the new eco-friendly elements of the game especially using buildings and the new zones so if you're new to the game or new to the DLC I would certainly recommend having a go at these scenarios they also are quite good at illustrating the differences between the different types of zoning and buildings and how they're used now the green power one I think is the most difficult of the three scenarios even though it actually looks the most simplest and I will kind of explain that guys so let's get down here to the description Time to put your city's carbon footprint in check. With this scenario, you must build a city from scratch and make its carbon footprint as small as possible. And we're just gonna have a look at the wind conditions. Population 50,000, that's not a, an excessive challenge, to be honest, even when you're starting from scratch. Electricity production over 500 megawatts, well, that's probably linked to the 50,000 population. So it says 100% of electricity production from renewable sources. Now that's gonna be interesting to see what the game's definition of renewable sources are. Or whether it's based on pollution so whether you could use a nuclear power plant or not or whether we're going to be restricted to just wind sea geothermal and solar and the losing conditions are a little bit more interesting guys um, the having less than one money represents quite a big challenge when you actually start the game because it's very easy given the restricted amount of cash at the beginning to dip just below just for a second so that's something to think about. It says 100% of electricity production from polluting sources. Again, quite a simple condition, but one that can catch you out at the beginning of the game, but I'll explain that once I get to the map. Now this last condition, average ground pollution over 15%, this is the one that's gonna to have to be monitored all the way through the building process. Because when you start a new city, you're gonna to have to put down generic industry, you're gonna be restricted to having having to use the some of the more dirtier garbage collection so that 15 percent could suddenly pop up at any time and it also goes as the city grows it's, you're gonna have to be very careful about man managing that ground pollution and keeping it as low as possible and that's the one that could sink you at any time during the scenario so um and i think that's it for the conditions now we're going to look at resources oh, we've got plenty of resources and um, we've got lots of ex all the all the links we've got the highway trains ship and air connections that's not a problem and i think what we can do now guys is just get straight in on the map and see what actually happens all right here we are guys we're on the map golden rule of city skylines whenever you start a new map scenario anything always pause the game because the moment you build a road you will start paying upkeep on it and that money will drift away while you're looking around now this is my first time on this map so looks pretty good let's just have a quick look round you've got to see that way get rid of that just spin the map round the other way yes yeah, so we've got a probably a pretty fast flowing river we have to see what direction that's actually going to go in looking at the smudges on the map I'd say we've got resources down here probably ore, not oil we've got farming over here and we've got forest to the north and there's the railway tracks are key now we first thing we need to do is actually unlock the options let's go to build a short piece of road and delete it so that now unlocks the water and power and the basic roads angles of roads and grades yes thank you ah we've only got forty nine thousand. they've actually reduced the money normally you get more than that you get 65 or seventy thousand. okay guys i was about to say that i would build my large roundabout here but with that money shortage i think we're gonna have to go with something that's a bit more conservative and i think what we're gonna do is come down here three come down that one I think we'll come down take that up that and I mean 
inclined to do is come left with residential, commercial, and go right with industrial. Actually, what we need to do is see. Now, this is what I was saying, guys, is one of the traps which relates to that 100% power consumption. If you drop a coal-fired power station down here, which you th is, would appear to be logical, do that, power all your problems with the city. The moment you do that, you fail the scenario. So we're, we're going to have to start with wind. We've got wind power down here, that's useful. And we've got wind power going up there. Kind of a bit inclined to have my first wind turbines down here because we're going to need water as well. And the water flow goes that way. So let's put the water and the. I think we'll put that there. And here's the sewage. That's 320 a week. What's this one? 480, and it produces less. We're going to have to go dirty to start with. If we like it or not. And put that in there. I think what I'm going to do is down the center like that. That gives me a common power line, uh, water line. And what I'm going to do is come out and now apologies guys this is going to have to be a very gridded city uh, there is no real choice with this to start with I mean we will try and fix it later on but to start with it's going to have to be a very highly gridded city and come out like that question now is do I go this way or this way I think to start with we go this way like that and come out like that and we're just going to come here I'm going through the cache and I haven't even really built anything yet ok uh, zone now what I'm thinking Let's do this the proper way. We need to conserve resources. And I think we're going to come out here. And I think we're going to have slightly... Go 440. And come up like that. Right. So we've got that power there. Got a little bit of there. What I need to do now is get here. I think we'll put that there. That will save me some money with and I think what we'll do is come up about there and we're just going to put a bit of there we'll just go and pause the game and let it run speed it up a little bit we've got 20,000 left to spend and that ah, good, that's coming in straight away that's exactly what I need. and what I have to do is up like that. Come up. Yep, and I just put the power up there. So. And I think what we can do is push out that a little bit like that. Just keep pushing it out. Overlap, like yes, overlap's good. I can just put down this side like that, and we can have a little bit side like that. And we've now got commercial coming in. Put commercial there. What we're going to do now is come out this side like this. That what we're gonna do is come out back that have it back like that. Get the industry up there. Water problems. Let me just come out like 
that. I think we'll get away with that. We're just going to let the city grow. Of course, we're going to get a power problem across the top here. Didn't like that. You can see we're now down to 600 and there. So what we're going to do, do now is actually let the city connect that up, get the power into there. Right, we've still got demand here, so and I think we're going to that's lopsided, that's not good. So I've got to keep the city well gridded to start with. This is not something to mess about with. So I think what do is just have that there. Of course, we have to come out. Just come like that. And of course, we've got the do the budget. Let's drop that down. And what we will do is increase electricity budget to around a hundred and just over a hundred and ten percent. We're running with the uh, a single wind turbine here. Don't worry about that. That's caused by the fact that I changed the budgets. What happens is, is when you change the budgets, you actually get uh, an effect like that. For some reason, the game just responds. Okay, look, I think we can get a little bit more residential squeeze up into that area there. Push comes to shove, we can actually slip some residential into this area. Right, we've now turned the cash around. This is where you've got to be careful, guys, because the buildings, as and when they unlock, will become quite expensive. And it's very easy to to throw away some money to put down a key key building, and when you do that, then what will actually happen is the you will suddenly get a dip due to a fall in, you know, say for example, you need, suddenly need a power station or something like that. And, and this is why you need to keep things pretty close together, pretty tight. And. I think that's building up quite nicely. Commercial demand isn't that high, but it's picking up a little bit now, and that should fill in there. And what I'm thinking, guys, is, is we, now we've kind of got through the initial start. What I'm probably thinking is we're going to grow the city down here, probably bring this down and cross the river here. So we'll probably come oops, there we are, and we've reached a little hamlet. We've now got taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, which is something we're going to need. We've got a landfill site, an elementary site, medical clinic, recycling, and community school. And I'm just going to pause, guys, because we've only got a little bit of money. And what's this? This is going to cost me pollution 25, 10, garbage trucks 15, processing rate 48,000. Kind of inclined. Here, have a garbage truck there. Not garbage truck, recycling center. Get it nice and technically right. Because the first thing you've got to get in when once you get to a hamlet is you've got to get the garbage collection in. Otherwise, you will run into trouble very, very quickly. And this is what I was saying, guys. Is I've got thirteen thousand to spend. And I've unlocked a health clinic, which it cost me ten thousand, and we've got an elementary school, which is going to cost me ten thousand. And of the two, the school is probably more important because that actually raises the standards of your city. But at the same time, you've got to be a bit careful because, again, what's the upkeep of this? Hundred and sixty, two hundred and forty. We're going to have to go with a school. And I think what I'm going to do is school in there because you do want to get your education as going as fast as possible because if I click on here and 
it will actually come up and it will say educate more citizens is education actually gives you the upgrade for the city right this is now bridged across which is exactly what i wanted so this can come out because we've got the bridge across this area here which is one of the reasons why i went for this very tight road structure we've got a little bit of growth over here so i think i have to come out here again say so it's going to be quite a gridded city unfortunately yep. i think we're just going to put in that area there I and mean, i will expand south when the time comes got here get a little bit more on this area here like that and a little bit of industry we've got a power problem now and this is where I can run into problems because we don't have access to there so we may need a loan um, I think what I might be able to help out how bad is the power problem yes yeah, way down okay Budget. Can I solve it with this? Yes, that fixed it. Okay. I've run into a problem straight away. Okay. No option. Take a loan out. But what we can do is actually increase the taxes a bit. That should increase my income and do drop a other. You can see that takes it straight across by increasing the actual tax revenue. See here, we're now producing 20 megawatts. We'll get an extra two megawatts per system. And I just trapped myself there and we've now got a little bit of cash to spend but again like i said I, I you've got to be careful don't push things out too fast and i think i'm gonna down here like that and let's just check that victory condition see we're now up to seven percent pollution ground pollution kind of show you here guys so we've got this bit here so this is why I was saying that you've got to grow this generic industry because we've got demand but at the same time if you grow it too fast and whack down lots of it you could very quickly pass that 15% threshold so I think what we can do we've got a little bit of demand for commercial so let's put that let's sneak that in there so maybe up like that A little bit in like that power is now bridged so we can get rid of the power lines across the top keep the city neat and tidy and we've reached a worthy village and we've now got emergency services we've now got districts policies second loan district specialization agriculture self-sufficient buildings organic local produce that's what i'm actually looking for and we've got police station and firehouse okay I'm just going to pause again guys and what I'm going to do green area down the center to do get into here like this. In fact, I think what I will come down like that and create a area down the center like that. Straight away, I'm going to get this. Maple Hills and now this is going to cause me a little bit of a problem as this will convert but luckily this is not actually that well developed at the moment and I'm just going to let it run because what I want to do is convert this to this zone here if you can see it changes commercial area to consist of building buildings like organic product produce shops electric cars charging stations and such Production 50% of sold goods locally. Truck traffic in the area reduced by 50%. Increases electricity consumption by 20%. Reduces garbage production by 20%. So we're going to get an increase in electricity. 
Now you can see our power is dropping a bit already. I think what I am going to do now is take this, have this up here. Power is always a problem when you run with the wind turbines. That's why many people opt for the coal fired power station to start with, but that's not an option for this city. Right, so now I've got that there. Let's just check the water. Yeah, water's getting a bit low, but we can adjust that with the budget. Increase the budget a little bit. And maybe we reduce this a little bit. I've, I don't want it to be that high beginning. And of course, we've now got a demand for more residential and I think what I want to do is push this further south and let's bring this down to eat and the reason I'm doing this guys is to take advantage of the fact that we have the Oh, ha, missed it, great. I was about to say, because we have water coming down this way, but obviously it isn't there. Let's just stop that and come out again like that. And come around like that. Count power lines. got 33,000 and I do want to get in relatively quickly and we'll put a fire station there that will connect the power up you need to get fire in because eventually if you're not careful fire will become a problem and again what we'll do is just to keep expanding this way and what I'm going to do is work on expanding the commercial game just have a quick check on some percentage goals we're up to 8% got to be a bit careful because it is demand for industrial so I think we'll put a tiny little bit more industrial in just to keep the city growing because from education comes the demand for the better goods is probably the polite way of saying it got 22,000 so let's get a police department in I think maybe we can drop a police department in about there we got fire and police that will make everyone a bit more happier it means they're going to actually kind of get kind of things are going to grow a bit quicker we'll have a bit more industry going oops and I need got that guys just going to connect that through like that come out like that that can come down like that so I'm just going to not try and satisfy all the demand for the industry. I'm just going to kind of keep that on the sparse side. How are we doing here? Garbage production, 32,000 capacity. Now, the thing with these recycling plants is what you've got is a processing rate and a storage rate of 300,000. So you can deal with fluctuations that if it gets too much, on the processing rate it will store it but what you're going to do is keep an eye out make sure it doesn't actually over overrun okay and i think what we're going to do now is come out again like that put in there in fact i think what i will do is i'm going to come like that i think what i'm going to do is push the commercial over this way so we've got commercial there, but then the commercial will come to this side of the highway. To check. Yep, we're getting low on power again. Great. Yes, I know. That's another reason why I want to reduce. And, and we've reached Tiny Town. So we've now got landscaping events, parks and plazas, level two buildings, footballs and concerts. We've got gravel path. There, we've got some parks which would be useful to push up the land value. Biodome, variety of endangered plants and insects. I've never seen the biodome. Vertical farm. Okay. Sure, I've seen the biodome. Oh, here it is. Biodome, 240 a week. 
Yep, well, we're not going to be doing that. And I think what I am going to do though is find, oops, we've got water problems. Or was that just related to the power? Yep. Oh, no, let's just deal with this, guys. I can see it. But I think I'll finish this off, I think. That's. We'll just keep the city growing. And we've got 26,000 to spend. Not a vast amount of money again. And I think we've unlocked a high school, but that's going to take all our cash. I, I just don't want to do that just yet. And I'm just going to speed it up again. The city's growing. We've got demand for commercial now coming in. And I think we will back down this little bit here like that. Check to make sure we're covered. Yep. and what I want to do is build this up a bit so that we can actually work with the uh, education and again I'm just going to pause while I break the power cables that in like that Take this out and pause. So I want to come down here because the closer I get down to here, the more chance I've got of getting across here in the future. Um, okay, that's growing up. Got, still got demand, so I think come right up. For there and back that in there. Now the come up that way like that. If you've watched my previous scenarios you would have seen me muttering about the how bad my grid is. This is what I call, I like to have in my cities. It's the one area where I actually really really want the the things look neat and tidy for some reason. I've got no idea why, guys, but that's the way I am. And I think what we can do is, I say I've, I've got a bit of cash, so that can come in there. And I think what we will do is push the industry out that way. Let's check the garbage. Yeah, we're getting a bit close now, so. And this comes back to what I was saying, guys, is that you do need to keep on top of things sorry and I think we can that's I think that is commercial isn't it yeah they won't mind too much the noise I think what we can do just for neat being neat and tidy that can come this way so we've got a very very uniform regulated city hopefully let's check the zoning yep I think what we can do is take the, this out I should have stuck with that. And I think what I'm going to do is come out a bit now. I'm, I've, I kind of came in like this. But I think what I might need to do is expand this into a residential... Uh, uh, what I might need to do is expand this into a commercial area here. Right, what I do need is education that is still way too low okay we're we'll just going to have to be a bit patient here guys I'm just going to let this run on a little bit sometimes you've just got to stop and let your cash build up a bit because here we're, we're doing okay cash wise things are growing got a little bit of demand for in fact I think what I can do got one two three like that Again, I think what I could do is come down here like that, because I've already ridden across this area, haven't I? And I can actually put in residential like that, but imagine the state of the education. Yeah, education is terrible. I 
Marshall on this side. And back to check the percentage for the goals. 6% you can see it's just dropped because I put in that area there so maybe we could oh, no, we've got no demand for generic industry which is good right I think we're getting to a point now where I can drop the high school in I'm going to put the high school right on this corner here and oh uh, the power problems Need to get to there. Drop another. I mean, what I want to do is use the water supply, and I think what we can do, cut across like that, and careful, careful. Because remember, if that drops below one, we fail. Traffic's pretty good at the moment. I think I think got water problems again. Probably yep, yeah, we increase this again a bit. And so, yep, yeah, doing okay. And what I want to do is if I get once I get to the next milestone, I think that's where I'm gonna wind the video up guys. I think we've made a good start with the city. We survived the initial rush. Ah, things are looking good. Got a little bit of growth on the city. Maybe let's check the supply over here. Yep, we've got water supply on this side, so oops, let me put that in as And we've reached Boomtown. And we've now got public trans transport level buildings. We expand a tile. Of course, we've got now got all access to all the main roads, and we've got pipes. And of course, we've got advanced wind turbine and a cemetery, a bus depot, and wave power plant. You can imagine what that is going to be cost. Let me just pause that for the moment, guys. What was I doing? Yes, upgrade this, and I think we're going to drop that in there for the moment and let's just have a look at this wave power plant ah here it is here wave power plant 160 a week 20 megawatts harness the power of kinetic energy okay that's 160 let's just do the calculation just pull sorry guys now I've got a wave power plant that is 160 a week and that gives me 20 megawatts I go for here this is going to cost me 200 a week and give me 20 but I think if I put this in not build on water okay but that's not going to give me 20 because I don't actually have any real wind power do I so it looks like we're going to have to go wave guys Harness the kinetic power of water with affordable wave power. Waves are created by wind passing over a water. But it's got noise pollution. Okay, let's. Got low on power. But that's going to give me 40. Yep, I think we're going to go wave power. Oh, that's cool. I think it's the first time I've actually used wave power, actually. And that should solve the. Yeah, we've got. We're now creating 71 megawatts. We've got plenty of spare capacity. Because, of course, what I want to do is move these wind turbines eventually. We've got plenty of cash starting to flow in. And, of course, the one thing I do need to get in, something you do need to build pretty early in the game, once it comes available, is a cemetery. It does give a quite a nice boost to the city as well. I'm just going to pause because I think I've cut the power lines. Oh, we're okay. And I think what I'm going to do is kind of come over here. No, actually, cancel that. I think what I'm going to do is come like that, come in there like that. So I can take out 
area here. I'm just going to unpause and just let the game run. I'm just going to finish this little bit up, guys, while I'm thinking about it. And then we've got the cash for it, so I'm just going to come down like this and connect like that. And we're gonna come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now I'm starting to get a bit of a interference with this here. And we've just got that flowing there. Again, we've got a little bit of industry. Let's just check the goals 5%, 6%. That's good. And I think maybe we can just sneak in a little bit of there. That will. How much does that will that rise? That's no, not rising that bad. And I think this is where I'm gonna leave it, guys. I think I've, it's a good start. We've got a, a solid foundation to the city. Things are growing up quite nicely, and we're now getting down close to this area here. And we've got plenty of power. Yeah, we've got water's okay, power's okay, and uh, garbage production is good. Health or happiness is not brilliant, but we can work on that. Maybe I just to round this part off. I think we will put a park in somewhere, a small park. Small parks are absolutely worth their weight in gold. They can really push up your level because what I need to do now is level up these households you don't want to keep expanding out what you need to do is start leveling up so maybe we will need to turn back to education elementary school 10,000 let's drop a another elementary school in over down here because the better your education the better your better educated your population will become and the, the more taxes they will pay is probably the polite way of saying it but this is where I'm going to leave it guys hope you've enjoyed the this first video in the series and until next time whatever you do enjoy your gaming <laughs>